And then we've talked about, oh, we're coming up on our one year. I know, this right? episode 42, 10 more episodes. I know, how crazy. We talked about Retro X. And then we also talked about how Idaho Falls, or Idaho is the show me state. Mm-hmm. How there's a lot of first annual events. Did it do it again? <laughs> it did it again. <laughs> we'll try to get this fixed. This show has no budget. Did that help? No. It did for a second. I'm looking at the reflection in the iPad. Okay. That worked. All right. Um, anyway, Idaho is indeed the show me state, Mike. Tell me all about that. <laughs> well, there's a lot of first annual events and not so many second annual events. Right. So when we went to Retro Expo last year, I was like, oh man, I hope this is bigger and better than ever. And right. it was. Yeah. I would say it was three or four times as big. It was massive this time. They moved it to the Elks Lodge for the second, and they took up both levels. They did, which was super cool. When was the last time you've been to an event that took up the top and bottom levels? I can't remember one. Yeah, beats me, man. Not even the um, Festival of Trees do- does. Oh, yeah, no. No, yeah. it usually doesn't. It's usually just the main level. So yeah. let's start with this. Right when you enter the sign, cosplay is not consent. Which I think is a really great idea. You know, probably no one's going to grope a Tanjiro or a Nezuko, but um, you don't know about Nezuko. You don't know, but some of them, <laughs> some cosplayers are scantily clad, and that doesn't mm-hmm. mean they want to. Yeah, it doesn't have mean their they want to be padded. Yeah, no, absolutely not. <laughs> right. Yeah. Or you know, Batgirl. Yes. Yeah. I decided to dress up to get the full experience. It's so I could infiltrate the nerds. <laughs> <Yep>. Kidding. <laughs> Kidding. But yeah, no. And also realistically, like this is the costume that I put together for Halloween this year. Obviously I enjoyed making it or else I wouldn't have done it. Yeah. You know, and it's just fun. I, you know me, any chance I have to dress up and put together a costume, I absolutely will. It's my favorite. Well, <laughs> and you just rocked it. It's the classic Batgirl costume. Mm-hmm. Yeah, technically it's the one from the animated series, oh, which okay. is my favorite Batgirl because yeah. she's the coolest. You looked fantastic. You killed it. You understood you. the assignment. And then I ran into this guy, let's see, from Dragon Song Forge, who did a oh, little yeah. demo. He makes custom swords. Check this guy out. Yeah, that was pretty cool. He's cutting his own business card with his sword. Uh, How cool is that? Super cool. Link in post for him. Then there's this guy, Ricardo Gonzalez from Layton, Utah, who not only 3D prints these miniatures, but he also paints them. Yeah, by hand, which is so cool. He does a great job, too. Again, link in post and hopefully a Facebook tag Mm. if you want to get some of that for yourself. Check out this fantastic toy collection from Rich Broadcasting. I thought that was very fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Our friends at KID, Star 98, mm-hmm. The Pick, The I, Wolf. <laughs> I want to know what parent had to buy their kid that G.I. Joe battleship. Huge. Massive. Yeah. And not only that, but where in their room are you going to keep that thing? You're going to have to suspend it from the ceiling. Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. Just too much. And then these guys, Minifigure Mania, had this Lego contest. Mm -hmm. You can see here's that indoor. And they had a bunch of others, little, I don't know, not dioramas, but uh little sets. I don't know who won. But these guys seem pretty cool. Right, right. Well, and apparently you can go in and make little minifigures of yourself, which I would love to do one of these days, by the way. they You've got the birthday party oh, info over there. Why, yes, I do. Yeah, if you have a birthday party coming up. Right. Well, and here's the thing that's cool. So they actually do like two different activities for a birthday party. So they're 90 minutes. They do a build and race activity. And then they do a build your minifigure activity so that the kids get to take home minifigures at, after the party. How cool is that? Yeah, Isn't they bring that fun? they bring out all the bodies, all the legs, all the heads. Yeah, and it looks like it's only a hundred bucks total, which is actually pretty dang good if you ask me. And I think that includes up to seven figures. Yeah, yeah. So after that, so it's depending only, on how many friends your kid has. Right. And then after that, <laughs> it's only five extra bucks per kid. Okay. Which is not bad, really. What a cool idea. Yeah. And I hear they have a, a big or bigger uh-huh. uh, birthday party room. So mm-hmm. That just seems like such a cool idea. Where was when I when I see stuff and hear about stuff like this? It's like where was that when I was a kid? Right, dude. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Yeah, I don't think I ever did like a really really big birthday party when I was a kid. I think it was always like me and two friends did one activity. You know. You're gonna have a Mario party though now. Because yes. you got, what did you get? Did yeah. you get Mario Party or Mario No, Kart? I got Mario Kart. Okay. But now I'm really regretting not buying that Mario Party 2. So my very most favorite game that has ever existed 
is the original Nintendo 64 Mario Party. Okay. It's been my favorite since I was five years old. It is still my favorite. It's just fun and it's cute and whimsical. And is that not one you have? No, I no. have the original Mario Party, okay. but I don't have Mario Party 2, which okay. is also on the N64, and I have played it once, and it is super duper fun, so I'd really like to get my hands on it again. 50-year-old-ish moms, dads, mm -hmm. if you still have some of your kids' stuff, Nintendo 64 stuff, some of those games, like mm -hmm. uh, uh, Legend of Zelda Ocarina, Ocarina of, of Time. Time. That one was about 90 bucks at the booth I was looking at. One game. A hundred bucks. One game that's 25 years old, a mm -hmm. hundred bucks. Yeah. Yeah. Because wow. they're scares. Yeah. Uh, but one thing I did find that I was really excited for was Mario Kart, which I have never owned on the Nintendo 64. Actually, that's not totally true. A I few... cannot wait to play. I cannot wait to go down the rainbow road with you. I know. I'm so excited. Yeah. Well, and here's the thing. So I have technically owned it. I bought it off of Facebook from a gal a few years ago, but... The game, like the game itself, was like corroded or something like that. Oh no! So it was completely you unplayable. Corroded piece of crap. Yeah. So there was no way to play it, which super sucked. So we spent thirty. Oh, that's bucks. decroded. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> you spent fifty bucks. Thirty bucks. Okay. No, I, maybe thirty-five. But thirty-five bucks on a game that we can't play. You know, I think I might still have it somewhere, or I said it, I maybe gave it to someone to try to fix, and it never got fixed. I don't know. Either way. I don't have it anymore, but the one I got is actually a recreation of it. So, uh, you know, it's not the original, but it still is exactly like the original. I believe, yeah, the, the thing you bought said copy. And and yeah. really, I mean, let's be real. Like anything, any of those games, 8-bit, 16, 32, even 64-bit mm -hmm. games that could come on a cartridge, I'm just saying Google... Nintendo 64 emulator. Right. Yeah. You don't have to have an actual N64. Yeah. Now that in mind, I do have one and I really <laughs> like it. And you want to play and it. And I want to play it. <laughs> I understand. Yeah. I absolutely understand. There's a tactile experience involved yeah. with that too. Well, and I still have the original controller that I had when I was five too. Like it has with it has withstood so many tiny hands furiously doing this to the joystick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's in great shape. Uh, yeah. When I was a kid, I actually remember one time I had like this little red mark on my palm because there's this game oh on Mario gosh. Party where you can make the shy guy fly. Oh. Maybe you can find a video to put in. Uh -huh. But anyway, you make him fly. But how you do it is you got to wind him up first and you wind him up by doing that with your hand. And I ooh, I was so good at it. I could make him go so <laughs> far. But anyway, I got like, I, I gave myself a friction burn on my palm trying to get that little shy guy to fly. If you missed Rest Retro Expo 2, man, try and, and this sounds like fun to you, try to be there for Retro Expo 3. It's going to be a good time. Such a good time. Great cosplayers. Mm -hmm. Really nice people. Right. Really nice vendors. And it was so nice. Okay. Uh, when we talked about Retro X before, and I think it might have been in a lost episode. I don't know if we actually released it. Um, but some of my... Uh, oh, yeah. I guess we did release it, huh? Anyway, point is, back when I worked in the mm, mall... No, because our, our first episode was June 19th, I think. Oh, that's true, huh? So never mind. So, yeah. Well, anyway, so in one of the Lost episodes, we talk about Retro Expo 1, and I mentioned that some of the kids that would frequent the store that I used to manage in the mall Kate, were there, and they were in, like, amazing cosplay, uh -huh. which they would wear to the mall, too, and they always looked super cool. And as we were leaving, um, they saw me, and they were like, hey, Carly, and I was like, oh, my gosh, you guys look so great. It was really great to see him again. And I just want to throw a little bit of footy of this in. There was a Hot Wheels guy there who has a DeLorean. Oh, it was really cool. 1981. Mm -hmm. Still drives. I think he drove it up from Blackfoot. Wow. Oh, man, it was cool to see in person. I think the only other DeLorean I've seen in person mm -hmm. is the one at Universal Studios. Oh, that's really? That's behind ropes. Oh, crazy. But I was actually able to stick my camera inside, and I was just, like, mind blown. And, like, he sort of acted like... I was silly for being into it. He was he was like, yeah, dude, it's a DeLorean. Which but also, like, dude, you're the one who owns it. What do you mean? This is a DeLorean, dude. <laughs> yeah. This is amazing. How many people have actually seen one? Like to see how low it mm -hmm. rides in person. I was like, oh man, you better not be overweight. <laughs> good luck getting out of that thing. You're going to need an assistant. Yeah, good thing. Good thing people were skinnier in the eighties. I guess so. <laughs> yeah, that's how they could get away with that. Great, Scott! <laughs> it was amazing to see. <laughs> 